tricky to film in here because there's going to be a bright reflection in my glasses pretty much no matter what I do. Okay. <clears throat> Serious! Okay. <clears throat> okay. Welcome! Serious, please stop. Welcome to my channel. Here, I'm Emily, the Minimalist Mama, and here on my channel, I like to talk about pursuing minimalism with grace. Today, I just wanted to do a sort of quick-ish video on my winter capsule wardrobe. Technically, it's not so much of a capsule as it is just a seasonal wardrobe because I don't have all that many pieces in it. It almost qualifies as a capsule. So. I'm going to give you a tour. You'll recognize a lot of the things in this capsule wardrobe from my fall capsule wardrobe. As you know from watching that video, I'm really into the academia aesthetic, even though I feel like I'm a little too old. It's weird. I, like all the new teenagers and young people are doing these aesthetics and I feel like I'm too old for that, but at the same time, this aesthetic is literally vintage styles. So if you had told me that I would be wearing A, a turtleneck, and B, brown, and C, wide leg jeans a year ago, I would have thought you were insane. I'm really loving it now. So if you need a permission slip to change and evolve your style, here it is. Okay, so let me show you what I've got going on in my wardrobe. This half is where I typically get dressed from. That side are the things that are really not included in my wardrobe right now so much. Although I do have t-shirts and stuff at the bottom and tank tops that I will use to layer. I have this blue dress. This is very old. I've had it probably 10 years from Target and I still love it. I have a fancy Christmas party this weekend. This is one of my options. I have this plaid green skirt and I just bought this vintage pleated skirt from Salvation Army. It's full has a tag. Five dollars. And I just loved it because of the buttons and this kind of window pane pattern, but I haven't actually tried it on. So let's do that in the course of this video. I feel like I need to move you closer. I have this plaid shirt that I really need to decide on if I want to keep it or not because it's just a little bit tight in the tummy area, but I really do love the plaid. I have one two, three blazers, all of which were also in my fall capsule wardrobe. This one I never actually wore in my fall capsule wardrobe, but I am wearing it this winter. I didn't wear it in the fall because it's a size 12 and I just felt like it was too big. But now I've decided just embrace the oversized menswear jacket look and it makes me feel like a boss. I just got this as a Christmas present from Brie, who you know if you listen to the podcast. It's like a sweatshirt, but it has animal print. I also have this black sweatshirt, which is from Kimmy Shop. This animal print sweater. This is from Target, but I got it on Poshmark, so it was secondhand. I got this. This is the one thing I cheated on with fall capsule wardrobe because technically I wasn't supposed to buy any clothes, but I did buy this from an Allie's shop, Ground House New York, which I have a whole video about organizing the back room there. I bought this there and I really, really, really love it. It's like a little bit gold shiny and it's soft and stretchy and it's really cute. White side, I have these two white button ups this one I still have not worn. Then I have two white sweaters. This one you've probably seen in some of my other videos. I think it's shrunk though, and the sleeves are getting too short. And that makes me very sad. <laughs> I have two on the yellow end. This old navy one, which is super thin and great for layering. This one I bought on consignment, but I'm starting to think I'm just not into the yellow anymore. It's a little too bright for me and I just find I never really wear it. Okay, we talked about this blue plaid shirt already, but I do have this button-up shirt too, which I also have not worn yet, <laughs> but I do have a new pair of jeans that I can wear it with. They're sort of charcoal gray colored mom jeans from Madewell. They were on super sale and I'm so loving them. They're super high-waisted and just really comfy. Let's talk orangey and pink colors. So I have this sweater that I love. 
This is from TJ Maxx and I bought it new. It's fast fashion and guess what? I've had it one year and it is falling apart. So I need to like sew it back together but it has like poles in it and stuff which is a big bummer because it's very cute. And I really love it. And then this shirt, this is a, I got it from the J. Crew factory and I love it. It's really lightweight and so it's good for layering. This sweater I recently got, I got it this summer. It's also J. Crew, but it's really, really thin and I haven't figured out what to wear it with yet. This one you might remember from my fall capsule wardrobe. It is also from Groundhouse. I am really into the turtlenecks, which is crazy. Never thought I would be but I like the 70s vibe it has and it's just really easy to wear with a lot of different bottoms. I almost forgot I have this old navy gray sweater that I just have not worn in a long time because I have another gray sweater that's in the laundry. Don't know how much longer I can keep this one and still like not wear it. Speaking of, I have this gray hoodie, which I mean black hoodie, it replaced a gray hoodie. I also haven't worn that very much. This though, I wear all the time this black turtleneck. So a couple things I know that I'm going to get rid of already because I've sort of done some maintenance decluttering and just set these aside. But I have these old navy jeans and they're wearing out in the crotch like all of my old navy jeans do. Let me know in the comments below if you have that problem with your jeans too. They wear out like right in the crotch. It's so annoying. This dress I bought this summer with the thought I would wear it to a Christmas party. When you're shopping, don't buy things thinking of one specific occasion you want to wear it to. It's just not a good use of money. As it turned out, it's too big. So then this dress I thrifted many years ago and I love and it's super cute, but it is an extra small and I'm not extra small anymore and I'm kind of over waiting to be smaller and I'm ready to let that go. I almost forgot, these are my shoes. So I have some L.L. Bean boots. I have my tennis shoes. I have these casual flats and then I have my loafers and I have a pair of slippers somewhere. I wanna to put together some looks and try on some of the things in my wardrobe to see if they are keepers. So I'm gonna take you along in that process, show you some of the outfits. Now is the try on part of the video. I am partnering with Ana Luisa Jewelry for this video. They gifted me three pieces of jewelry that perfectly fit the minimalist look and they also feel very vintage and timeless, which is also really perfect for my vintage inspired capsule wardrobe. Their jewelry is very eco-friendly and sustainably made. There can be a lot of problems in the jewelry industry, especially I think we all know with diamonds in particular, and their diamonds are all lab grown instead of harvested. So I've been wearing this ring nonstop. I love this layered necklace. I also really love this. To me, it just has such an heirloom feel to it with a little pendant. Their jewelry is very high quality. I've been very impressed with it so far, and it really just elevates an outfit as I will show you in the outfits that I am about to create. I really admire that their jewelry is ethically made. They use transparent processes and recycled materials whenever possible. There's just a lot to love about Ana Luisa Jewelry and they are doing a sale for Christmas, 60% off, which is pretty amazing. I have a special link from them and I will put it in the description down below. Be sure to go check them out. Any pieces from their site would make a beautiful Christmas gift for yourself or for someone else. trying to put together some more outfits to show you I realized that between these jeans these vintage jeans 
the overalls and the black mom jeans, all of these tops go with all three. So like this cropped balloon sleeve white sweater, I can wear with these jeans and it looks really cute with these high-waisted jeans. I can wear it with the high-waisted black jeans and I can also wear it underneath the overalls. Each one of these shirts has three outfit options. So three, six, nine, 12, 15. Um, I don't know that I would wear this sweatshirt under the overalls. So let's get that one out. So we have 15, 18, 21, and wear it with this white sweater on top because it's a short sleeve shirt. So that's 21 outfits, 30 outfits. Wow. Out of nine, well, 12 pieces. It's pretty good. And that doesn't include if I throw in a skirt. Oh, and then there's that outfit over there, which doesn't really mix or match with anything else. <laughs> so my piles got kind of mixed together, but these are the definitely going out. And then these are my babies here that we will probably keep for a little while longer and wait and see. Okay, this coat I included in my fall capsule wardrobe and I didn't wear it at all. So I really want to make an effort to wear it this winter. I don't know why I just felt weird about wearing a long coat, but it's so elegant. It's vintage. It is gorgeous. And I think I just need to be bold and do it. I have a gray beret, but this dark green one I just got in an estate sale and it's Irish. And it's not gonna fit on my head right now because I have my hair up. Ugh. How does that look? That looks weird. Okay, imagine if my bangs weren't being weird. It would be cute, right? Solid turtleneck, some beautiful gold jewelry long coat, awesome ethically made boots, and a hat, and you have a really cool looking outfit. And it feels very vintage. Inspired without being like too vintage. You know what I mean? Let me show you a few outfits that I have worn or that I'm very excited to wear mixing and matching some of these pieces. And there are so many more options here than I will be able to have time to show you. Okay, Whew. so this is the thrifted skirt that I bought without trying it on. It said it was a size 8. Man, I wish it had pockets. Oh my. Anyway, I love the cute buttons, but boy, I remember why I don't usually think of myself as much of a skirt person. I feel like this is a very long skirt. It's definitely midi length, which is not super flattering on me. Um. But the pleats are so cute, and the buttons, and it matches this brown shirt so well. What do you think of this skirt? Is it me just feeling weird and self-conscious about wearing a big skirt? Or do you think it actually kind of looks weird and it was not a good use of $5? Thoughts? Let me know in the comments down below. I love a turtleneck with overalls. I think it's really cute. I'm not going to do the rest of the outfits, but I think you get the point that each shirt can go with the blue jeans, the overalls, and the black jeans. 
and pretty much either the loafers or these boots, but really all you need are three pairs of versatile bottoms and then a pair of boots that go with everything. And then you can pick as many tops as you want. And each top can go with all three bottoms. Once again, if you are looking for a, a Christmas gift for somebody or for yourself, Ana Luisa Jewelry is doing a 60% off sale right now, and I would love it if you would use my link that I put down in the description so they know that I sent you. I hope this video hasn't been too all over the place. The main points I've been trying to make are to have versatile pieces that you can mix and match that you really love. So for example, my winter road wardrobe is mainly consisting of these three bottoms, these boots, and then versatile pieces of jewelry, like my Alma Luisa jewelry that basically go with everything. And then as many tops as you want to include that mix and match, jackets, mixing up the jewelry, some lipstick, and maybe accessories. Okay, so that is it for now. Let me know in the comments down below which outfit combinations you like the most. I will see you guys in the next video. way cuter if it was shorter on me if it's still tight in the waist ah.